today we're going to go through how to set up the Eclipse ID. You're going to end up with an awesome framework for uh, creating Python and Maya tools. There is a blog post at learncreategame.com slash techart slash Eclipse that provides a text version of how to set this up, as well as uh, providing you with the download links. We're going to run through how to install uh, Python, PySide, the prerequisite for Eclipse itself, the Java Virtual Machine, and installing the Eclipse ID. Then inside the Eclipse ID, we're going to be adding PyDev as well as Perforce, which is optional if you use source control. And we're also going to uh, add the interpreters for Python as well as Maya. And then I'm going to show you how to uh, create code inside of uh, Eclipse as well as applying Perforce uh, to your project and adding PyDev projects. I have already downloaded everything we need, but a couple of notes on the downloads. If you're on the Py Python side, if you just click the big yellow button here, you actually will get the 32-bit Python. I wanted the 64, so just click on uh, Windows or whatever operating system you're in on and find the version that we want. We want 2713 is what I grabbed and get the 64-bit installer. Uh, the QT, the, the Pi side, uh, we just find the latest version for 2.7 and find the 64-bit version, the EXE. I just go with the EXE. So right, where is it? AMD there, right here. Or uh, whatever latest version is, that's what I go with. And then on the Java side, you we want the Java runtime environment. So just click the JRE and uh, accept and then find the 64 bit exe right here and the, as far as eclipse you just click this button right here so i got everything downloaded into a folder here and the first thing i'm going to do is install python i'm going to install that so i grabbed the 2.7.13 was the latest so i'm going to install for all users just going to put it into the c python 27 directory path and just keep the defaults here. And that's Python. Next is PySide. Um, my versions prior to 2017 is using PySide 1 inside. Uh, 2017 and up is using PySide 2 as there's a huge jump in the Qt framework. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and install PySide 1 for uh, Python 2.7. It's a nice UI framework. Um, so we're just going to find the Python version we just installed and put it right there. So that's PySide, nice and simple. The next step is to install the Java runtime environment. If you try to run the Eclipse installer right now, you would get an error message saying the system can't find the Java runtime environment. So we have to start with that. And done. Now it's time to install uh, Eclipse. We're going to choose the uh, Eclipse ID for Java developers and just hit this install button. I just kept the default install path. And there we are. Now we can just go ahead and launch. Pick a default workspace. I'm just keeping the defaults. And here we are. All right, so first things first, let's get PyDev in here for some Python goodness. So we go to help Eclipse Marketplace, and here's all the add-ons that you can get for Eclipse. There's a ton of them. So I'm just gonna start with typing in PyDev into the search, and here it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and click install, and I'm just gonna keep uh, I don't need my Lin integration, so I'm just going to go there, accept, finish. I'm going to go ahead and restart. Once it's rebooted, we need to open the PyDA perspective. We go to Window. Perspective, open perspective, and other, and then click PyDev. So now we're in the PyDev uh, perspective, and you can tell uh, there's this lie icon over here, uh, and you can go back to the original, so you can uh, jump between different perspectives. 
Next time I'm going to add uh, Perforce to Eclipse. This is optional. I don't know if you need Perforce. So I'm going to go back to the Eclipse Marketplace. I'm going to go into the search box and just type in Perforce. So P4 Eclipse, I'm going to click Install. And I'm just going to keep the basic Perforce integration here. Confirm, accept, and finish. And we restart the Eclipse Editor again. Later, I will be showing you how to apply Perforce to a project once we have gone through how you add a project inside Eclipse. Next, we're going to add the Python interpreter to Eclipse. You do this by going to Window, Preferences, Find your way to PyDev, Interpreters, and click the Python Interpreter. Here we're going to add a variety of different interpreters, uh, the Python one and as well as Maya Python, MayaPy. So you click New, and we name this interpreter to Python 2.7, and we go browse for it. And I installed it on C, Python 2.7, and just choose to Python. Keep everything in this list checked and hit OK. And when we click OK, it's going to go through and find all the modules we have installed, like uh, PySide and anything else you've added to the Python interpreter. And it's going to find that and be part of the code completion. Next, let's add the Maya Python interpreter. Let's go back to Preferences. Find your way down to PyDev, Interpreters, Python interpreter. Click on New. And let's name this. Maya 2016.5, and let's go browse and see program files Autodesk Maya 2016.5. Going to the bin, and you will have a Maya Py.exe, and that is the Maya Python interpreter. Select that, click OK, keep the, everything selected in the list, and hit OK. Now for the Maya interpreters, uh, there's another step. I uh, go into the predefined. I'm going to show you then the directory here for Maya 2016.5. There is a dev kit. And by default, there is no other folder here. It's just this readme document saying that they what they used to ship with Maya, they now have put on a web portal. So you have to go and download the dev kit. I highly recommend doing so because it contains the PyMel extras completion predefinitions. So this allows PyMel to um, code complete and uh, IntelliSense very quickly uh, when you type code. So uh, we're going to go in here and predefined and hit new and then we're going to browse to this file Let's go program files autodesk maya 2016.5 dev kit it's quite the path other pymel extras completion pi predef hit okay now we're good to go so when you hit OK here, it's going to go through the Maya, go through the Maya Python interpreter and PyMel and add all this stuff to code completion. We'll see it in action later. But that is adding the Maya 2016.5 interpreter. And for other interpreters, you would just rinse and repeat this process. Next, let's go through how to add a project into Eclipse. We do this by right-clicking on New Project, uh, click a PyDev project right here. Go next. Now, uh, I'm not going to use the default for my project contents. I have a project that I have on my hard drive uh, that is distributed via Perforce to multiple people. So you just go to where that project is stored. In my case, it's on the Trubs Code Tools. So my Python root folder is right here. I tend to pick the project folder that's above that. So I will actually get other tool folders, which could be handy because you can open things like bat files and other code related files into Eclipse and not just Python code. So we add, say, OK to this path. We give the project a name. Uh, I'm going to give it the 
project name here. And then this, the interpreter default, you can change this. So we have added, I've added Maya 2016.5 and Maya 2017. I'm just going to pick Python 2.7. Uh, I don't, I'm going to go ahead, since I'm picking the top folder, I am not going to add this to my Python path. I'm going to tell it to not configure my Python path. I'm going to do it manually. And then we go finish. So now we can see that project name that I gave it and the Python folder here. So I basically, the folder name was tools, but I gave it uh, my own unique name. But other things will show up here under this folder now as we add them into our project directory. And uh, that's how you add a project into Python and you can see what the active interpreter is. Now let's go ahead and set up the Python path for the project. So you go to properties of the project and go to Python path and just say add source folder. And here's the folder we added and I'm just gonna pick Python. That is the root of my Python path. And here you can go and you can change the interpreter at any point when you're coding. So you might be working on a, uh, and once we set the Python path, you can see how the icons now changed. So here we have a package because we have an init file there and we have our tools here. So as you're working on Maya stuff and you may want to run the Maya interpreter in here, you just go to the project properties and change the interpreter right here. And now, now when you run code, it's going to use the Maya Pi interpreter. And that's how we add a project. Now let's add the project uh, that we just created into Perforce so that when you open a code file and start typing, it automatically gets checked out by Perforce. That way uh, you don't have to leave the dev environment. It's very handy. And you can also check files in and do everything you can do inside the Perforce client inside of Eclipse. So we start by right clicking on the project and going to team share project. Select Perforce and hit next. Now we're going to have to create a new server connection. And the server address, you just copy the server address and put it in there. And your user and your password. Click next. It's going to test the connection, make sure we're good. Uh, now, here you can put in your workspace. And uh, putting my workspaces in there and that's good. We don't need to launch the Perforce import wizard. Just go ahead and finish. And now we have created the server connection. So it's going to show up here in the drop down menu under server connections. And there you go. That's all you need to do. You pick it and hit finish and now we're gonna see you can right click now and go to team and now you see check out mark for delete but you don't need to do anything you just open a file and start typing away and now you see that this file has been checked out by the red little checkbox and now we can uh, well we can just if we change our mind we can just go in here and revert files or whatever we want to do it's nice having Perforce inside here, not having to leave the dev environment. To conclude this foundational video on how to get Eclipse up and running, I'm going to show you how to create modules and packages inside of Eclipse. A package is nothing but a uh, folder, really, with an init file uh, in it. So to create those, you just go new, pydev package. And I'm going to create a .system package here. And you just click finish and it automatically adds that init file. And to create a module, which is just a .py file, you create new pydev module name. I'm going to name this one file and finish. And you can create, uh, you can set up a bunch of uh, templates basically. So you can get automatic uh, code inserted as you're creating files you can specify that this is going to be a class type file and you you can create all sorts of 
templates. Uh, you can also specify what has, happens in the header of a file that gets created, etc. I'm going to create a future video on my sort of favorite features that I use every day inside of Eclipse. Um, but this concludes this foundational one on how to get up and running so you can now install Eclipse and create your own code and create your own code library. So uh, until the next video, take care.